Everybody, this is Nook Nook. Now I've got him on a leash, kind of tethered to that fence for now while I get, start his video. Nook Nook uh, was at Bossier City Animal Control with his buddy uh, by a different name. They came in together as strays. They were uh, missing quite a bit of hair, covered in fleas. I believe that they showed up at somebody's house and nobody ever came for them. Uh, we've had we had them posted on the I, I, I'm one of the admins and the founder of the buddies of Bossier City Animal Control Facebook page So I go there every week and I take pictures of the dogs. Well week after week I would see Nook Nook who is heartworm positive and his buddy who is also a golden retriever But heartworm negative there week after week so what I was hoping for is that his buddy would get adopted because I have very limited space here for larger dogs. So I was hoping his buddy would get adopted since he was heartworm negative. And sure enough, he finally got adopted. That was my chance to go ahead and get, get this guy and bring him to our rescue. Um, so the, he, like I said, he's heartworm positive. We started the Pro Heart injection along with the um, with doxycycline that will be written in his profile how all that works. Uh, the vet had to treat his disgusting ears. Um, he was not neutered, and so his okay. I'm just going to get graphic here. His testicles hung very low, so I asked the vet. And since he's an older guy, if he gets neutered, the the sacs will remain probably won't drop you know come up like the skin won't retract as with the, as it would with a younger dog. So we asked the vet if we could do a little nip tuck. <laughs> yes, we did a nip tuck. Uh, vet said, sure, they did a nip tuck. So now the back end does not have this low hanging sacks, which could, you know, get caught on things and stuff like that. Um, but uh, they no longer exist and he looks much better as well. So I'm gonna, he's a little, he's a little shy. I'm gonna get the uh, leash and we're gonna, he wants to go back inside. I don't think he's ever lived inside. Um, so he's wanting to go right back inside, but let's see if we can get on a little walk. Come on, you wanna go for a little walk? Um, he and I have become buddies. He's still a little shy with me too, but we we have become good buddies. He's still missing quite a bit of his hair, as you can see, his coat, including on his tail. But all that will grow in nicely now that he's been taken care of. We did have our vet go ahead and give him a Brevecto, which helps with the, you know, it's a flea and tick prevention, but it also helps with skin issues. Come on, buddy. Come on, let's go. You ready? Come on. You got a little butterfly chasing you around. Um, so golden retriever. So he's, you know, a little sniffer. Sniffy, sniffy, sniffy. He does great, and we've got him in an oversized, huge, like it's an outdoor kennel, but it's inside the rescue. That is where he stays. And when we come in in the morning, it is, there is no mess in there. So I am assuming that he would be easily house trained. We find that the bigger the dog, the easier to house train. So, um, let's see if I can get around here. He's microchipped. He is up to date on everything. He had a pretty bad UTI, and so that has been um, treated. In fact, he's still—I think he's still on that on the en, uh, enroflaxacin uh, for for his in, UTI. Um, what else can we say about this guy? Come on, buddy. Um, he's just—he's a, a laid-back, chill old man golden retriever who um, has had a crappy life and that has all changed now the people that adopted his, the, his little roommate were so amazing they made a huge donation to us to help with his care and that was so nice of them so his little buddy went to a great home and so nook nook is next so it's time for his good home but he's just super chill just a great dog if you are interested in nook nook you know what to do and we're gonna head back to the rescue because he said i think i'm done <laughs> okay talk to y'all later bye